it's Vanessa from Crafty Gemini Creates. I'm here with a fun tutorial for you. This time we're working on a reversible cuddle cowl. This is the one that I'm going to be showing you all how to make here. We're using some cuddle fleece. This is a chevron pattern and it comes in a ton of different colors. The, the other uh, fabric that I have here for it, where is it? right here, is the Cuddle Dimple. And one thing to note, if you've never worked with this fabric before, you may think that the little dimples that are raised might be tougher on your sewing machine, but they're actually not. Because if we have a look on the back, you can see that they're not solid dimples. It's kind of just raised up. So this is a really fun and easy fabric to work with, especially for a project like this. You can whip this up in no time. Now, I have a different one that I've made right here. If you want a more dramatic look like this, we use the Cuddle, um, it's a black embossed with diamonds on it for the inside or for one side. And then the other one is the cheetah print. There's a lot of different animal prints. Now, if you've never tried the cuddle fleece before, definitely make sure to click the link in the description box below because I always put a link right there for you listing all the supplies and materials that we're using. Okay, so let's get started. Now, when you purchase this fabric, it comes by the yard like all your other fabric. And one thing to note that it's not like quilting cottons. This is actually about 60 inches wide. So it comes out uh, great for this project because you can make two cowls out of just 12 inches of two different fabrics. If you just want to make one and you don't care for it to be reversible with different prints, then just 12 inches will give you enough to make one full cowl by the width of the fabric, okay? So you can lay it out with the selvages away from you and then you would measure out 12 inches this way and cut a long strip. That strip would get cut in half. So you'll basically end up with two chunks that are 12 inches by 30. Okay, so we're going to do that with the two different fabrics and I already have that set up here for y'all. I did the same thing 12 inches by 30 of the dimple one and 12 inches by 30 of our chevron one. Once you have these cut out, you're going to lay them pretty sides touching and then you're going to grab your clips or your pins and you're going to take your time pinning along the long sides. Head over to your sewing machine, use about a half of an inch seam allowance. This fabric is bulkier, it's smoother, and so because it's so silky, sometimes it can move on you. So it's a good tip to keep in mind to use. Maybe if you wanna go with a smaller seam allowance, three eighths of an inch would work as well, but I would not recommend using a quarter inch uh, seam allowance on this. So just stitch up and down the two long sides, making sure that you back stitch at the beginning and at the ends. After you get that done, you're gonna reach in here and flip the whole thing right side out you can see both sides. We end up kind of with a tube here. And now we need to put these two ends together in a way that we don't see these raw edges. So it's real simple to do that. Let me grab my pins. You can grab your clips and see what works best for you. Now, I'm here at one of the seams. I have one hand on each of the openings and I'm gonna put them together so the, interse the intersections match up perfectly. Now, because your seam allowances are kind of bulky, you can feel free to press them open to reduce some of that bulk, okay? And I'm going to put a pin right at that intersection. It's a very important point to find uh, the intersection. I'll show you why. Because the cowl is reversible, when you have that seam right where they match up, you want it to show one fabric fully on the one side and the other on the other. Otherwise, you'll end up with seeing some of this gray on the chevron side and things like that. So make sure the intersections match up nicely. Once you have that intersection matched up, just work your way around. Notice how we're doing it. Pretty sides of the fabrics are touching. Don't worry about what the rest of it looks like because this part can be a little confusing. Just place it at the intersection, pretty sides touching, and then start to work your way around the cowl. Matching the raw edges and pretty sides touching. I'm not worried about anything else. I'm just grabbing one and the other and pin them together. And you're gonna keep doing this until you get to a point where you no longer can make the fabrics meet up, okay? And that's because the bulk of the cowl is gonna be coming out of there. And that's gonna be the last opening that you leave. And it kind of might not make sense until you actually make one and then the light bulb will go off and you'll say, oh, <laughs> now I know what I gotta do. So I'm working my way over to the other intersection and I wanna take my time to get those to match up nicely as well. You can put more clip, more pins or wonder clips, whatever works for you to hold those fabrics steady in place. And starting to get a little bit tougher here to grab. So you can see I'm forcing this so that I can make these fabrics meet up pretty side to pretty side, matching my raw edges. And when you absolutely can't make them match up anymore, then head over to the sewing machine. And using that half of an inch seam allowance, you're gonna stitch this up 
just backstitch at the beginning and at the ends. So can you see how that looks? You should be looking at the wrong side of the fabric on both sides here. And then it just kind of almost looks like a mushroom, like the entire cowl is coming out at the bottom stem part and the rest is popping out there. That is the look that you're going for, okay? So let's head over here and stitch this up. All right, so this is what we get. And now for the big reveal, all you gotta do is kind of flip this out. When you do that, you'll see that all those seam allowances get tucked in the inside, so we end up with no raw edges on the outside of our cowl. And then you just have this small opening here that you need to shut. So you can either do it by hand with a whip stitch so it shows up minimally. You can also just take it over to the sewing machine and stitch it in place if you don't mind it looking a little bit more raised. Um, and I'm just gonna do it like that for the purposes of this video. So I basically tug on it a little bit so that the seam allowance rolls inside. And then I'm just gonna run a straight stitch right over it. Because the, the cowl is so fluffy, you can see that the one I'm wearing is kind of scrunched and doubled up. So if you wear it like that, or you kind of just fold it under in half, you're really not gonna be able to see this. Or you can always set it to the back side. Or if you don't like that look, just go ahead and stitch it up by hand. So I'm gonna trim away these threads here. And there it is, your finished reversible cuddle cow. I hope you all will give this project a try. And if you enjoyed the video tutorial, definitely hit it with the thumbs up below, share it across the different social media sites, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on any future videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.